Hi, I'm Pete Lumbus, Director of Technical Marketing for NVIDIA Bluefield DPUs. We recently released our open source Pocket Kit, a collection of opinionated Ansible playbooks to provision and configure DPUs. Today I want to walk you through the process of our main playbook that will install the Doka drivers on the x86 host, install the DPU software, and install some additional open source packages designed to make management and administration easier. So let's dive in. First, check out the host file. This contains the IP addresses for the x86 node and the DPU. It's also where we define the username and passwords to access the x86 host, as well as what will be set on the DPU. Now we run the Ansible playbook command and add the extra variable of bfb install equals true. The extra step prevents us from accidentally re-imaging our DPU if we ever run the playbook again. As the playbook runs, it's not only installing software and drivers, but it's also validating which packages should be installed for the correct host operating system and providing item potency, and only executing the tasks that actually need to be done. This means if you run the playbook a second time, nothing has changed. Now we fast forward through this next part because watching software install is about as exciting as watching paint dry. We skip straight to the end, where after installing the software, drivers, and firmware across the DPU and host operating system, we reboot the host and wait for it to come back online with a fully provisioned DPU. Now you're ready to hit the ground running with your Bluefield 2 DPU.